All right, so I promised you guys an update. So you've seen the new cylindrical batteries that I got for the Prius. And of course, this is the old prismatic cells um, that I had in the Prius. I tested a lot of these. Um, I actually made it through the whole pack multiple times to find out what the capacity was, run them down to six volts, run them back up to full to increase their capacity, just exercise them a bit. So the worst one that I saw was about 900 milliamp hours, where this is rated for 6.5 amp hours. So that's like, what, six times less than it's supposed to be. So pretty weak um, in that aspect. And one of the big things that I wanted to test was what's the difference between the capacity on one of these old worn out prismatic cells and these brand new cylindrical cells. Because a lot of times if you buy something brand new, that doesn't mean it's better. Original equipment is a lot of times better than what you buy aftermarket. And so that was a part of my worry about buying a brand new battery pack. Is it actually gonna be better than what I had in there originally? Which to be fair, wouldn't be really hard because I kept throwing codes with the old battery pack. Um, so with these, I tested anywhere from 0.9 amp hours up to maybe two and a half amp hours, three amp hours. Um, and some of them I could cycle them up and down and get them up to three, three and a half amp hours, which is about half capacity for an old battery that would probably be fine if I could get the whole pack balanced. But I did a test on one of the new cylindrical cells that I got and it tested, drum roll please, at 6.4 amp hours. And with an advertised six and a half amp hours, that sounds amazing. Now that's uh, discharging it down to one volt per cell because there are six cells in here making up a 7.2 volt nominal pack. So I would discharge to six volts and then charge back up to full using the, the nickel metal hydride peak charging. Um, so definitely what I was hoping for, which is an actual six and a half amp hour cell. And the battery has been installed in the Prius now for a month or two, has not thrown any codes. Whenever you get in the car and power it up and, and drive out of the neighborhood, the battery doesn't just suddenly drop to zero and the engine starts revving. It's actually been acting like a Prius should act, which I actually know what it's supposed to act like now because I've got a good battery in my Prius. So uh, very happy with the product.